protests in the area. Several people said to be injured and a mob seems to have surrounded a police station in the area. My colleague Ratnadeep joins us to explain more. Ratnadeep, what's the latest violence triggered by? Well, uh, the situation in Chirachanpur, uh, in Manipur, remains very tense at this moment as we speak. Uh, now, since evening, there was a mob build-up outside uh, the office of the superintendent of police of the district. And uh, the police forces, uh, security forces, had to use force, had to uh, actually use uh, you know, tear gas shells as well as uh, uh, they had to uh, resort to firing to disperse the crowd. Uh, what we are hearing is that several people have sustained injuries. And a, a part of the mob actually uh, uh, bro broke into the uh, police uh, superintendent's police office. A part of his office was ransacked. That's what we are picking up from official sources. Then another mob actually... Uh, tried to attack uh, the office of the deputy commissioner of the district. In fact, uh, uh, in the campus of the deputy commissioner's uh, office, some vehicles were torched. That's what we are picking up from official sources. Uh, in fact, more reinforcement has been sent to the area. Whereas what we are hearing is that uh, there have been people who are injured. Now, what triggered this is actually uh, to, uh, the Manipur uh, police had put a uh, constable who was posted in Chirachanpur uh, uh, under suspension after a video went viral where he was seen with a group of armed miscreants uh, who identified themselves as uh, village volunteers. And uh, therefore, uh, an inquiry has been instituted and he was placed under suspension and the mob uh, out the poli uh, police superintendent of police office asking that the suspension order needs to be uh, withdrawn and at some point of time uh, the mob actually uh, went viral uh, went violent and, and that is what police officers are telling us and police had to resort to uh, uh, you know use a force however uh, civil society groups have alleged that the uh, police uh, started uh, the security forces started actually uh, uh, you know uh, use a uh, force and that resulted into right. uh, mob turning violence so there are uh, you know allegations and counter allegations as well right. but overall the situation at this moment as we speak is very very tense that's right. what we can uh, put put out for our viewers and right. several people have sustained injuries and they have been rushed to hospital. Right, Ratnadeep will keep track of the updates there. Uh, closely with you, thank you so much for joining us. So accuse the BJP of inciting trouble. This says the BJP blamed the Bengal police and Mamta Banerjee for not doing anything to protect women in Shradesh Khali, who the BJP continued to claim had faced sexual abuse. Meanwhile, Parliamentary Committee of Privileges has summoned the Bengal DGP, SP Boshihat, an additional SP Boshihat took here before them on 19 February over allegations by Bengal BJP chief over the alleged attack on Under BJP fire over the unrest in Shradesh Khali, Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee hit back today in the State Assembly, blaming both the RSS and the BJP for inciting violence and saying she had never allowed any injustice in her life. But the BJP was unrelenting in its protests, with Bengal leader of opposition Shubhendu Adhikari leading this one outside the state assembly. Chandesh Khali has hit headlines after the BJP accused local TNC strongman Sheikh Shah Jahan's aides of sexual harassment. The ruling party has trashed the charges. Shah Jahan, a local strongman who has been on the run for a month now after ED officials visited his home for a raid, came under a mob attack. ये महिलाएं अपना मुंह खोल के क्यों नहीं बोलती मैं इनके खिलाफ कार्रवाई करूंगी और क्या कहा उन्होंने संदेश खाली इज अ बर्नर ऑफ आरएसएस व्हाई यू हैव बिकम सो अगली सो क्रूएल सो एंटी वुमेन ममता जी क्या बोलेছেন स्पष्ट করে বলেছেন কিভাবে একটা অঞ্চলকে গন্ডগোল করার জন্য একটা প্লট তৈরি হয়েছে কিভাবে ইডি ঢুকছে তারপর থেকে কি কিভাবে মিথ্যা অভিযোগ তোলা হচ্ছে যে জায়গাটা সাংগঠনিক ভাবে তৃণমূল দুর্বল সেই জায়গাটায় এমন ভাবে সিপিএম বিজেপি মিলে একটা নাটকের দৃশ্যপট মঞ্চ সাজাচ্ছে যাতে মানুষকে বিভ্রান্ত করা যায় the Shandish Kali issue is playing out just months before the crucial Lok Sabha election. In the 2019 election, besides bagging 18 parliamentary seats out of the 42, the BJP raised its vote share to 40%. This time, the BJP is aiming to power ahead and keeping up the pressure on Mamta Banerjee and the Bengal government. For a CBI team and a court monitored probe, just like in the case of Manipur. Dil Shiv Sena. This verdict is a tenable, sustainable and justified verdict. It has been given on the basis of the sound principles of law that have been established in accordance with the guidelines given by the Apex Court and disqualification rules that are prescribed in this behalf all have been adhered to and a reasoned and justifiable order has been delivered today. Pure, pure kanun ko pair ke nichal kuchal diya hai, aur kuch nahi hai. So 10 schedule ko adhaar diya hai, alag 10 schedule ko bole 10 schedule kuch hai hi nahi. Aise maamle mein 10 schedule ka kya kaam hai? Bole inka andro nahi jagda hai. To kisi bhi party mein log bahar girte hai, to andro nahi jagda hota hi hai. Par andro nahi jagda kab hua, kaise hua, uske ab diya kya hai, wo sab dekhna pardha na hai. Hum bhoot khush hai, hum bhoot samadha nahi hai. Aaj ka jo nirnaya adhik ji ne do diya, wo kaide ko कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी को सबको सामने रखते हुए आज जो उन्होंने फैसला दिया है वो उसका हम स्वागत करते हैं अजीत दादा पवार जी को बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूं और लोकशाही में मेजॉरिटी को महत्व होता है ये मैं हर बार कहा है और स्पीकर जी ने जो डिसीजन दिया है मेजॉरिटी के ऊपर और मेरिट के ऊपर दिया है 